Chinese people have passed long period in their study and usage of tea. Either by accident or on purpose, they continually discovered and modified new methods of making tea, thus deriving different kinds of tea. Due to the different processing methods and fermentation degrees, Chinese tea is generally classified into six major categories. Green tea, black tea, oolong tea, white tea, yellow tea, and dark tea. Besides, there are processed salts such as scented tea, compressed tea, tea bag, etc. And each type of tea has its representative, celebrity tea. Green tea is a non-fermented tea. It is called green tea because the color of the finished products and tea liquid after brewing more retain the green color of the fresh tea leaves. Green tea is the oldest type of tea, with the most varieties and large output in China. Its producing area are mainly distributed in Zhejiang, Anhui, Jiangxi, etc. Green tea is made from new shoots of tea trees as raw materials. Through three processes of fixing, rolling, and drying. Based on the methods used to remove water and dry the leaves, green tea is classified into four categories, namely pan fire green tea, baked green tea, steamed green tea, and some dry green tea. When properly brewed, green tea has a greenish yellow color and a fresh flavor similar to that of the leaf itself, which is simple, elegant, and lasting. With the characteristics of three greens, green dry tea leaves, green tea liquor, and green tea jacks. On first sip, green tea tastes a little thin, but on appreciating it, you will find fragrance flowing in your mouth and reluctant leaf. The representatives are West Lake Longjing, Pilo Chen, Huangshan Mao Feng, En Shi Yu Lu, Green Bamboo Leaf, and so on. Black tea is a fully fermented tea. It gets its name because of the red color of dry leaves and tea liquid after infusion. The characteristics of black tea are red tea liquor, red leaves, and mellow sweetness. Black tea is made with the bark and leaves of tea trees as raw materials. Through typical procedures such as withering, rolling, fermenting, and drying. The oldest black tea originate from Mu Tong village, Wuyishan town, Fujian province, and later spread to other provinces in the south, mainly in Anhui, Fujian, Guangdong, and Yunnan. Black tea has the greatest consumption in the world now. According to the processing methods, it can be divided into three main groups Kung Fu black tea, Su Tung black tea, and broken black tea. The representatives are Golden Steeped Eyebrow, Lap San Su Ching, and Dan Hong. Black tea is a one in nature, suitable for tea lovers who have a cold stomach and body. China is the only country that produces white tea all around the world. White tea belongs to slightly fermented tea, with a clear and mellow taste. It is made of bars and leaves covered with fine white hairs, only involving withering and drying processes, which maximize the retention of original nutrients of tea. It has been given the phrase of one-year tea, three-year medicine, and seven-year treasure. 
white hair silver needle and white peony are representatives of white tea. Yellow tea is lightly fermented and the second tea after green tea discovered in China. Its history can be dated back to the 16th century and the main growing area are Sichuan, Anhui, Hunan, Hubei provinces. The processing procedures of yellow tea are fixing, rolling, yellowing, and drying. Compared to green tea, an additional step called yellowing is utilized during the yellow tea processing, which promotes partial oxidation of its polyphenol, chlorophyll, and other substances resulting in the more fresh and the mellow taste compared to other teas. The unique processing step yellowing also gives yellow tea its beautiful appearance, known as three yellows, yellow dry tea, yellow tea liquor, and yellow tea jacks with sweet taste. As a rare and precious variety of tea, it has gained increasing popularity in recent years because of its pleasant mellow taste and health benefits such as antioxidation, anti-inflammation, and anti-cancer properties. Junshan Silver Needle, Huoshan Yellow Shoot, and Mengding Yellow Shoot are main representatives of yellow tea. Oolong tea is a semi-fermented tea between green tea and black tea. It is also called blue tea in some places because of its strips are greenish brown. Because of the leaf oolong tea is featured with the reddish edges and the green centers, it is commonly called wooden leaves with crimson edges, mainly produced in Fujian, Guangdong, and Taiwan. The processing procedures of oolong tea include Withering, rotating, fixing, rolling, and drying. Oolong tea keeps both green teas and black teas characteristics. The refreshing and clearing flavor of green tea, and the thick and the luscious fragrance of black tea. Due to the different origins and varieties of oolong tea, the color of tea liquor range from light yellow, bright yellow to orange-yellow and orange-red. The main representatives of oolong tea are Anxi Tie Guan Yin, Feng Nix Dan Cong, Wu Yi Big Red Rope. Dark tea is a post-fermented tea, with the characteristics of the age, the better. The processing technology of dark tea includes fixing, rolling, piling, and drying, of which piling contributes greatly to its distinctive characteristics. The piling process has two purposes. The first is to oxidize polyphenols and remove part of the astringent taste. The second is to change leaves color from dark green or dark greenish to yellowish brown. Because of its long fermentation, the color of the finished product is oily black or dark brown, so it is called dark tea. Different from other teas, dark tea also includes Greek tea, cake tea, and talk tea. The representative teas are Yunnan poor tea, Hunan Anhua dark tea, Guangxi Liu Bao tea, and Sichuan Tibetan tea. Poor tea is a precious species in the field of dark tea. It can be roughly divided into rock poor and ripe poor. The greatest fascination of poor tea is that the longer it is preserved, the better it tastes. As for the raw poor, which is over 10 years old, the dry leaves have obvious aging and woody aroma. The tea liquor is golden and bright and the taste is sweet and mellow. In this lesson, we have learned about the six basic types of tea. Each type of tea has its own charm. 
which is worth exploring and tasting. After class, please learn more about the six major teas and choose each representative tea to write its characteristics, such as color, aroma, taste, and shape in our discussion area.